Welcome back to another episode on v Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. As we wait for Nintendo to bring us a proper sequel to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, we take a look at other options that lay right in front of us with Mario Kart Arcade GP. Mario Kart Arcade GP is the Mario Kart series developed strictly for the arcades by Bandai Namco under license from Nintendo. What was very interesting is that the players could buy a card and use the card to play and save game data so that they could continue on in collecting different items, carts, and secrets just like if you were at home. Players were also able to customize their look with a picture of the player to be used as a photo of the player's face while racing. The series would have characters from Nintendo as well as Bandai Namco characters like Pac-Man and Tamagotchi games. When my son loved racing games, we actually found for the first time Mario Kart Arcade GP DX version at the Dave & Buster's. This was perfect for a young child to play and I was amazed how great the game looked. After seeing what the arcade style looked with a mixed Mario Kart looked and seeing how much fun my son had, began our journey to open back up our Nintendo with Wii and Wii U just to play Mario Kart. Vastly different, but still fun, my son dominated Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS, and then Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U. It took a while before I could find the arcade game again, but found the other two prequels I had no idea was available using the Wii as the arcade board. The Triforce Arcade Board was a successor to the Naomi 2 board and was co-developed by Namco, Sega, and Nintendo. Like Naomi Arcade Board was pretty much made by Sega and for the Dreamcast console, so was the Triforce Board in that it was a basic architecture for the Nintendo GameCube which was also supported game cards to save data. There was huge potential to convert arcade games to the GameCube directly, but since Nintendo wasn't really into making arcade games, they left that to Sega and Namco at the time, releasing only three games being F-Zero AX and Mario Kart Arcade GP and GP2 from 2003 to 2007. Since the Wii basically has the GameCube architecture in the console, a few programs here and there, and you can have the original Mario Kart Arcade series for GP up and running at home on your very own Wii. The game itself is very much for kids as it remains very fun, colorful, and very easy to play with three different difficulties like the home consoles with 50cc to 150cc. Very fun to play with one credit for one race. Playing the game over and over again is very much the same as the home consoles can rack up spending a lot of money to conquer all tracks secrets and items. It's a good thing that we have this playing on the Wii. I found that the master levels are pretty much Bowser's Cup on both versions is the way to go as it is much harder to play with much more challenging tracks and is that much more satisfying. Most other tracks are much shorter and tend to just go in circles without any true challenges. GP2 is the version of choice for me as the tracks are a bit harder and have much more going on in comparison to GP1. A really fun game that honestly is nothing compared to Mario Kart 8. A fun distraction with the novelty of Mario Kart Arcade at home really is fun to see with the very large characters on screen, insane weapons, and with a tornado being my favorite and always very very good gameplay and that you can just jump in and play. Still, can't hardly wait for a true Mario Kart 9 sequel, but the arcade kart racers are very much a competent distraction until then. F-Zero AX is also a very fun racer to look back onto 
with Nintendo's back catalog, but that's another video on its own. That's it for me on this look at Mario Kart the Arcade. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.